Maxime Monfort of Lotto Soudal chooses the more aero version of the two bike options that he's got. He's gone for the Ridley Noah SL. The first thing that really struck me about this bike was the paint job. It's in the Lotto Soudal team colours, which match up nicely with the Belgian flag logo, which suit Lotto Soudal, a Belgian team, and of course Monfort, who is a Belgian rider. The group set. Well, Lotto Soudal are one of the few teams left at the top level who are still using full Campagnolo group sets. They've gone for super record EPS, really nice stuff, throughout. I think my absolute favourite thing about electronic group sets has to be the front mech noise. Listen to this. Love it. Monfort runs standard 3953 chain rings and the chain catcher is actually really cool. It's got an extension to stop the chain getting wedged in between the chain set and the frame, something that could potentially be race ending if it happened. Moving on towards the handlebar and stem, they're both supplied by Italian brand Data Elementi and they're the 0100 versions. The saddle is supplied by another Italian brand, Sele San Marco, and that's the Concor. The Concor is of course a classic model and this is the modern kind of revisited version. Wheels are like the group set supplied by Campagnolo and they're Campagnolo's Bora Ultra 50s. So a really light wheel, but a mid fairly aerodynamic section. So good for a ruler like Monfort. Monfort and the rest of the Lotto Sudal team run Continental's pro only competition tubs that have a slick center section for fast rolling and then file tread on the outside for more grip. They're down as 25 millimeters and they come in at 24.66. So I think we should probably give them that. Monfort's saddle height and reach are within a pretty standard range. The saddle height is 76 centimetres and the reach is 55 centimetres. Because the Ridley Noah SL is an aero bike, I'm expecting this one to come in perhaps a little above the UCI's weight limit. Let's take a look. And, well, yeah it is, it's 7.13 kilos. So 300 grams over the UCI weight limit, but a weight gain that's probably offset by the aero benefits of the bike. If you'd like to see a video on how to get aero like a pro, click right there. To see more of our pro bike videos, click there. And finally, if you want a great cycling video in your YouTube subscription feed every day, click on me to subscribe. Boom.